Can a carnivore diet increase testosterone levels? Or is that just a claim wrapped in red meat? Hi, I'm Dr. Eric Westman, and welcome to my channel where I review and debunk nutritional misinformation online. In this video, we're going to hear from one of the prominent carnivore influencers, a physician, and see what he says about testosterone levels. Be sure to wait till the end to hear my final thoughts. Did carnivore for three weeks, lost 13 pounds the first week. Very cool. Felt okay. Then after that, felt great. Wondering how long it would take uh, for significant testosterone level increases. It, it's individual, but I, I regularly see, I, 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 I test people first when they come in, you know, try to get them on a carnivore diet and, uh, and then check them again sort of six to eight weeks later. And typically I see a significant improvement in testosterone in that time. So who are we listening to? Always consider the source. This is Dr. Anthony, Dr. Tony Chafee. And I met Dr. Chafee actually this summer for the first time. And he is super intelligent. He's a former rugby player, professional rugby player, physician, and is now promoting the carnivore diet. I can say that he, he is super smart, has done his homework about biochemistry and promoting a diet that he thinks is really safe and effective. And now we're talking about testosterone. What does the diet that he promotes do to testosterone? Well, hearing what he said, I wonder how many people he's monitored testosterone on. And But we're going to just take it in and learn from his experience using a carnivore diet, which is a subset of a ketogenic, low-carb, adequate protein, high-fat ketogenic diet, and see what his experience has been from people in testing testosterone levels. Uh, it's very important how you take testosterone and all your tests, really, but testosterone is, is in particular. You need to take it first thing in the morning because you get your, your hit of testosterone first thing in the morning, like when you wake up or just before you wake up, and, uh, and then it spikes up and then it goes down. Right. So if you test your testosterone in the afternoon or midday, it's going to be lower than if it, if you had checked it that first thing in the morning. So check it first thing in the morning between eight and 9 a.m. Fasting from the night before 12 p.m. or sorry, 9 p.m. And you only drink water after that. Only drink water in the morning. No coffee, tea, cigarettes, heroin, anything. No food either in the morning until after your, no medications either until after your, your blood test. And then no exercise, stress, or sexual activity for 48 hours before you take your blood test. All those things can affect how your testosterone levels come out and all your other blood tests come out. Wow. Well, so I, I thought back on my training, and I really didn't get much training in measuring testosterone and replacing testosterone levels, regardless of what diet someone was doing. I'm trained as an internal medicine specialist in the U.S., then went into obesity medicine as a specialty using a keto diet as the type of method that I'm most comfortable with starting out before pills and shots and meal replacement programs. If the diet clicks, that's what I use. So I went back and I reviewed some information about testosterone as a, as a hormone. It will go down in men over time. And if you compare levels in the blood to normal levels, it's just pretty common for it to go down over time, a natural reduction, at least for carb eaters, because that's what normal, the normal range is. It's those who eat carbohydrates. So, but then I went to look at some guidelines about replacing testosterone and the, even now, you know, 30 years after my initial training, there's not a whole lot of great data and, and the American College of Physicians as a position statement in the last five years said that, you know, basically testosterone levels, unless they're really, really low and someone has a problem with sexual function and, and cares about it, there's really no evidence that replacing testosterone is, is worth doing, which I like that because if someone's not symptomatic, you don't want to just check a blood level and try to get it back into a normal range. You want to always ask someone how they're feeling. That, that's a problem with thyroid measurements. Just checking the blood doesn't tell you the thyroid function. So just checking the, the blood level of testosterone probably 
suffers from the same issues. It doesn't tell you what's going on inside the cells. So you'd want to ask someone about their libido, their sexual desire and sexual function. But so I'm kind of reassured that I haven't missed out on a big area of checking testosterone and replacing it. Now, I do know there are people who are in kind of a fringe from mainstream medicine where they give back hormones, thinking that if we can recreate the hormone status of youth, we will live longer. There's a longevity groups that will prescribe not only testosterone for men, but estrogen and progesterone for women and bioidentical kinds of hormones. And I'm not well versed in that. If you're working with someone who does understand that, great. But here, so the carnivore diet is a kind of panacea to fix everything. You know, not a whole lot of publications about changes and, and now no publication I'm aware of comparing carnivore to a different type of diet. And that's going to be important before we have any comparative information to say you should do this diet or another. But Dr. Chafee is going to give the experience that he's had from his own clinical practice. When I have patients on carnivore, you know, after, you know, three to six months, they're, they're even earlier than that, but certainly three to six months, uh, they can, they can significantly improve their testosterone levels just on their own without going on any sort of testosterone. And so, you know, it could very well be that your body can make a recovery if you're very low and you're symptomatic, you know, that's probably a bit inappropriate to take you off that quickly. It should have had sort of a weaning dose. It also depends on why you're on testosterone. Was there some sort of injury to your testicles that you were really not able to produce testosterone properly? Or was this just that you're having sort of lower levels associated with aging and wanting to sort of get up to more youthful levels? So this question has to do with someone who's been given testosterone by the doctor, now does a carnivore diet, and one of the side effects of too much testosterone is increased red blood cells. And, and so here the doctor, I think rightly said, let's reduce the testosterone instead of get off that carnivore diet. So the question really is how do you handle the testosterone replacement once you do a carnivore type of diet? And I think monitoring and adjusting as a general theme here is a good way to think about it. And then mentioning that there are different reasons people would be on testosterone, the natural reduction of aging. If you had reduction in sexual function, libido is a legitimate use of this. And with monitoring after that, there are other reasons you would be on testosterone. Uh, someone in the comments mentioned a genetic problem so that there may be a, a genetic issue, there may be some injury where the testicles aren't able to produce testosterone, that sort of thing. So the, I guess the main point here is that testosterone and, and any shot or, or hormone replacement may have side effects, and you want to monitor those, for those side effects when you change a diet, even toward a keto or carnivore diet. You know, what happened? How do you feel? They should, you know, but that's usually what return appointments are. It's like, okay, let's do this and I'll see you again in a month and see how you're doing. That's usually a good way to do it. But, you know, you need to go back and tell them that there's a problem and, you know, and, and then just say, Hey, look, it's maybe go on a more graduated reduction because like, this is, this has gone too, this is going sort of too far the other way. I think in time, unless you've had an actual injury that will stop you from being able to make testosterone probably properly. You will, you will probably make, start making normal amounts of testosterone again. And that, that's what most people do. But, you know, it could be that your body's not able to do that, in which case you, you might need to take something long term. And so, yeah, I think that's maybe a bit overkill, you know, taking off completely just because that, you know, red blood cells went up a bit, especially if your testosterone levels were normal, right? If you're too high, sure, bring it down. But, you know, testosterone level of 174 is not normal. You know, that's, that's quite low actually. So yeah, I would go back and talk to them. And if they, and if they're not really very approachable and not really wanting to hear it, then, you know, yeah, get a second opinion. It's you know, definitely, definitely your right to do that. It's your body, it's your life, it's your health. And, and if someone's not really helping you, then you're able to, you're allowed to go to someone else and, and ask their opinion as well. That's fair. 
I guess I was the end of it. Well, you know, what we've been hearing is the question and answers by a carnivore influencer, a physician who treats people online, I believe, maybe in person. I, I met, met Dr. Chafee. I think he's a brilliant physician, and, and, but it's hard to know the number of people that he's seen with testosterone and, and levels. I don't know if this is real, you know, data, but I went down and read all of the comments so far, and there were five people that put in the comments that their testosterone went up after put, going on a carnivore diet. There was one person who said the carnivore diet made their testosterone go down, but it was still in the normal range. <laughs> so I'm left with, well, five to one, you know, and then is it functional to have this kind of change? Is, are you having more libido? Are you having more sexual function that you want, for example? And it's hard to tease that out as a doctor in a clinic. I always wonder about the people who don't come back the people I don't hear from, the people that didn't find the keto or carnivore diet something they wanted to do, there may have been side effects. Uh, so this is one reason for a systematic evaluation called a study, why you would want a study to look at different diets and their effect on testosterone or thyroid or any other hormonal system for that matter. So in general, I think Dr. Chafee is a great source of information. The carnivore diet is a subset of a keto diet that I've been using in my clinic for over 20 years now, if you include the research that we've done. So it's interesting. I, I don't fully subscribe to an online sort of program with doctors giving advice without knowing all the information. There's still people who, maybe I'm old school, but people come in and tell me in person something they may not have been able to tell me in a one-line little question. So beware of advice with such little information learned from the person giving the advice. Good video on balance. I'm learning about the testosterone and, and realize now I have not missed out on a big we should, everyone should measure testosterone and replace it if it's not right. The American College of Physicians, which is a rather conservative group, says that it's a good thing to do if people are symptomatic and have low testosterone levels. So it's something worth checking and being aware of, but not to worry about if you're happy with that testosterone system. Well, I hope you like this video. If you do like it, please like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. Look for new content on Wednesdays and Fridays. If you enjoyed this video, consider joining our YouTube membership for early access and exclusive live Q&As with me. Just click the join button below or support us with a PayPal in the description.